six weeks in, I gotta tell ya, I know things, I'm getting stronger. Man, what a whirlwind it has been learning all this stuff from front end masters. In order to be able to learn this much, watch this many videos, I've had to really take care of my health a lot more than I ever thought. I've been focusing on eating better, minus last week or so. That really has played a crucial role. And another thing that's been vital to my learning journey is actually exercising. I'll put in 30 to 60 minutes before I'm gonna go learn something. I really didn't think it was gonna make that big of a difference, but I saw a YouTube video talking about the true benefits of exercise. And then it had a study where the retention rate of people who actually exercised went up by like 20 to 30% when learning something. So I was all about that and it's been great for me. During this entire time, I haven't really focused on any frameworks. There's no Express, React, uh, Angular, or Vue. I haven't done any of that. What I've noticed about front end masters is that they really know their material and they're not just arbitrarily putting these courses in some path for you. What is mainly focused on is JavaScript and the core CSS. And these are gonna carry a lot farther than learning one framework, than having to switch, uh, maybe learning a library, than having to learn a new library. And I'm speaking from personal experience. I know React, Express, Node, MongoDB, AngularJS, jQuery. But the biggest mistake I made was not focusing on JavaScript, the language itself. Frontend Masters has helped me correct that mistake and I know so much more about JavaScript and how it works and what it's doing under the covers. I'm really, really happy I decided to do this challenge and the courses on JavaScript are excellent. Currently, I'm going through some algorithm challenges that I've done in the past, but I was very fuzzy on. Because I have that fundamental foundation from the past JavaScript courses with uh, Will Sentence, uh, Kyle Simpson, and Bianca Gandolfo, it's been easy to go through the algorithms and data structures and understand what's going on because you have that foundational knowledge. Also at work, it's been way easier to understand some of the libraries that we're using or some of the frameworks because I have this foundational knowledge. And I know that that's gonna carry with me uh, throughout my career rather than just learning a framework because it's the hot new thing. I'm actually putting that off until the very end of the challenge because I wanna go deeper in JavaScript. I know it's gonna carry more weight and it's going to help me understand React and Node and Webpack much better. Now, I'm sure I've said in the past that these learning paths are suggestions. They are not set in stone. For instance, there is a course on asynchronous JavaScript with uh, Rx Observables. I'm not using RxJS. Unfortunately, I'm going to forego that class because it's not going to give me the same benefit. But it's great to have it there. It's only a suggestion. You really have to take this into account. Think about what's going to help you the most in your career. So going into these next two weeks, I'm gonna focus on this expert path where you're going through more JavaScript asynchronicity, um, performance, functional programming, um, all of that good stuff. And then finally focus on React, Webpack, front end, no, back end, full stack, and we can wrap this thing up. It's gonna take about four more weeks. Uh, it's been crazy. It's been a whirlwind. I really have to watch what I do with my health. And I want you to be aware of that yourself if you go through this. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section because I can leave feedback for front end masters themselves and uh, they do watch the channel occasionally. So uh, if you have any concerns, leave them in the comments. We'll see if we can't get them addressed. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for coming by.